Hello, I have Steve Martin here on the line. And uh, Steve, how are you doing today? Doing great, Andre. Thanks for calling it. And before we talk, I just want to say how uh, sorry I am for the tragic fire circumstances you had there. It's a horrible thing to have to live through. And uh, I'm really sorry everybody had to go through that. And, you know, I'm familiar with that area because when I was first starting out, I, I did some performance on the Russian River at an outdoor camp, and I never forgot it because it was at a drive-in, yes. and it was during the day, <laughs> at yeah. like 3 p.m., and uh, it sticks in my memory as one of those show business stories. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of history on the river, you know, the Grateful Dead and all that kind of yeah. stuff out there, and I know that we in this area really appreciate you uh, thinking about us. It's going to be a, a long road to recovery, but we are Sonoma Strong. Yeah. I wanted to uh, congratulate you mm -hmm. on your new album, The Long Awaited well, Thank you very album. much. Yes. We're uh, we're very happy about it. We, uh, you know, we the Rangers and I. I'm talking about the we. You know, we're yes. proud of it. We we really like the music, and uh, the Rangers really stepped up in the orchestration department and musicianship department, and they, um, you know, get to show off their incredible skills too. They are amazing, but I have to say, you you're amazing too. I mean, your claw style playing of the banjo is something to behold. You you keep up with those guys all the well, way. Well, thanks. Thing. <laughs> now I uh, I, I kind of have my own style, and I think uh, I, I think it, I can't remember who said this. It was somebody somebody good. Oh my god! Anyway, he said, you know, your style are are the parts where you can't play. <laughs> you <know? laughs> your your style is created by what you can't do. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, then you have Graham there to to help fill in those gaps. It, oh, he's solid, I and mean, that guy's a first class ace. Hold his own with anybody banjo player yeah the whole band is like that now when you in terms of yeah. the songwriting process first of all one thing I, I really noticed and i really enjoyed about the album is it, it feels like you're getting um, more comfortable in the songwriting and being able to express yourself and not worry about you know uh, is this song going to be uh, i don't know just critiqued or anything like that there, like there's some humor in well it. i always at first, it's always like, is this song a song? Right. Okay. When I first started writing, I thought I would finish something and think, is it a song? <laughs> you right. know? And then uh, as the years go on, you think, oh, yeah, okay, it is a song. And now, actually, I realize that we can, we can work on it and make it better and make it tighter. And, you know, you start editing and start doing those things. And there is a certain comfort level that comes with, well, one, success, but also experience. Yes, De and definitely success. I mean, the, you've won awards for the work you've done with the Steep Canyon Rangers and on your own as well. Yeah, that's true. I, I can't deny it. That's <laughs> evidence right there. <laughs> evidence but, you know, sometimes a Grammy is, is uh, I always have to think it's a little bit of being in the right place at the right time with the right song, too. You know, there's yeah. some years you know, there'll be like five fantastic songs and it's a toss-up who, who really deserves it. Right. But we, Edie and I were very lucky. We won a Grammy for um, uh, Love Has Come For You, Best uh, Americana Song of the Year. Beautiful song. We played it here on The Crush, and we still play it, actually, here on The Crush. Beautiful oh, album. You. Beautiful yeah. album. Definitely different thanks. energy around that than this album. This album, it felt like you were able Absolutely. to cut, this cut is, loose. Uh, you know, I did one other album with the Rangers, yep. the Rare Bird Alert. Yep. And that was a very, uh, you know, traditional bluegrass album with bluegrass songs. And this this album does have traditional bluegrass sounds on it, uh, but it also strays a bit into, you know, other worlds. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, the difference between the song Santa Fe, which is a straight-ahead bluegrass song, although it has trumpets on it, right. and then something like On the Water, which is very moody and uh, airy feeling and unlike a bluegrass song. Although it, to me, it still is a bluegrass song. Yes, and then while well, you venture other mm -hmm. places as well, nights in the lab, about two technicians who <laughs> who are in love with each other. Yes, that, that is great. You know, it's so funny. Uh, that song is it, it, you're, Everybody seems to mention nights in the lab, and I always think it's this little hidden song on the album that nobody's going to listen to. <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, it's, uh, uh, I know it's a little bit spooky and sure. it's kind of slow. But I guess the uh, I guess the subject matter intrigues people. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it for me. It intrigues the nerd in me. I, I just love it, and and, and I, yeah, li I like I yeah. like the way that you turn a phrase and and uh, you know, frankly, you do things that I know other songwriters would would be afraid to do. And well, you know what? It's because it, it's 
it's because I, I, I I'm doing this for fun, mm-hmm. and I I just I love finding those words and rhyming them, and t- it's all about telling the story. If the so- if the word doesn't tell the story, it's not in. And I just look at uh, you know I look at the way these songs progress, and they. Uh, they, when I finish it, it goes, that feels complete. That feels like a little story. Now, do you feel that, that the work that you've done in other areas of your career contribute to this in terms of like, okay, I'm telling a story. It's got a beginning. It needs a middle. It needs an ending. It needs to be wrapped up as opposed to just, you know, an I love you kind of song that doesn't really go anywhere. Yeah, I think, uh, by the way, a song doesn't have to tell a story, as we know, at all. A song right. can be ooh-ee-oo, you know. <laughs> exactly. It, it can be yeah. nee nee na 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 nee And, uh... So this is just happens to be the way I do it. And right. for, well, for example, the song Caroline. I don't know if you're playing that or not, but we are. You know, it has very, very specific lyrics, and they're, the lyrics are very busy, and yes. it's telling a lot of story in a little bit of time. And that's why I made the chorus very open, and, and it only has one word in the chorus, Caroline, the word Caroline, that just keeps repeating and repeating and repeating, and it's meant to you know kind of balance right. the complexity of the lyrics, which is, you know, really fun to do when you find that uh, hummable chorus to balance a uh, a more uh, staccato lyric. I found that too with All Night Long. Now that's the song about being out on the road. Kind of correct, and it's, right. it has that three four almost. It almost reminded me of like a sailor being at sea, and I thought that the content of the lyric, which is a, almost essentially that, fit to what the music was really well. It kind of well. Ha- my roots are definitely in folk music and sea shanties and Irish music and bluegrass music. So the fact that you observed it has a sea shanty yes. quality to it makes complete sense. But you know that's one of our favorite cuts on the record uh, all night long. Uh, I think Woody song. sings it great. The song's very dynamic, and um, yeah, we're happy with that song. That's great. And then Canadian Girl. I'm from Canada originally, so it definitely appeals uh-huh. to me. I can relate to that song <laughs> in a big yeah. way. Yeah, well, I've had a long history with Canada. My whole life, I went to work there when I was 21 years old, writing on a television show. My oh. first time abroad was Canada, mm-hmm. and. Uh, and I went back several times. I did shows there. I've done movies there. I've fallen in love with the Group of Seven, the Canadian artists. Yes. And uh, it's funny you, know, you mentioned that. Long history that just. My father uh, wrote. Pardon me. My father had an art gallery in Montreal and wrote uh, was an author and wrote many books about the Gang of Seven. As a matter of fact. Really. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes. Uh, what's your father's name? Uh, it's uh, Hugues de Juvencourt. On the French side. of Steve, thank you so much. Thank for you. It was really fun, and I album. hope everything gets better out there quickly. Thank you, Steve. Take care.